welcome back day three we just finished up rome it is wednesday currently and we're having gelato on the train station floor that's because i was supposed to be going to monte luciano but i missed the train but we ball so now i said screw it and now we're going to portobello i think it's on the west coast by the water hopefully we don't miss that train i'm gonna eat this real quick before it melts all the way and you guys have my phone again because i have a charge my camera that i just haven't had time all right that's a little proper introduction for this day so as you saw you guys saw yesterday went to the coliseum went to the spanish steps kind of did it. i mean the night before i went and explored <laughs> rome at night which is way better than it is during the day i suggest if you guys come to italy explore go to like four in the morning five in the morning no one's around and it's just a lot prettier but now today like i said we missed our first train to monte Luciano. the next <laughs> train ride was till like 4 o'clock so I was like ah, I'm not waiting I don't know. so I looked for the next closest uh, or the next time train going out that to a place I want to go to so now I'm going to Portobello which is a small town on the west coast on the coastline it's about two hours away so now we have a train just left so we'll see how this trip goes this place goes and this is the one fun part, one exciting part about just backpacking, not having plans. Miss a train, so what? Uh, on to the next thing. Not gonna worry about it. So now, we're gonna be exploring a whole new town that I wasn't expecting to go to. Um, and honestly, I'm super excited. Right now, it's pretty hot out. It's like in the high 80s, so maybe I'll uh, take a dip in the ocean. But when we get closer, I'll let you guys know. All right, so we just hopped off the train, El Traini. Yeah, change of plans. We just we we're just going with the flow. So we actually skipped Borbatello because I ended up booking a like campground thing on like an island somewhere. But so we went to this next town called Albinia. Not Albania, but Albinia. It is empty here. No one's here. Small little houses. And it's right by the water. But I gotta find a way to get my campground. And this town is quite literally the definition of a small local Italian town. Barely any tourists. I think I'm probably the only person wearing a backpack here. And I don't know how I'm gonna get to my place because there's still buses that I've seen. Um, there's no taxis. So I might have to just walk. That's like two hours, so I'm not really wanting to do that. Possibly find like a moped to rent or a bike to rent. This is one of the struggles of finding a very cool place, but getting there is another challenge. So just ask for help. They said I need to go to a bus station, but when I looked on my phone, they said the bus station wasn't operating till like tomorrow, but there are people there, so follow the crowd, I guess, kind of go with the flow. So, I've decided to just walk to our campground because I was been waiting for about an hour for the bus. The bus did show up, but not the right bus. So now, we've got about an hour and 20 minute walk to this place. At least we have a nice view. For sure, we'll be worth it when we buy the beach. This is the one part of backpacking that's probably not the most fun, but it would definitely be worth it. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I'm trying to sweat. But we are probably an hour into the, our walk. Now I can hear the water. So right now I'm on like a strip of land or like an island that connects to the inland to some type of big island. In between, it's a long road. We got about another 30 minutes. And I should be able to get the beach right at like sunset. So I'll go to my campground, get checked in, and then go to the beach. And then the main town is still, it's at, pretty much at the other side at the very end. I want to see if the campground has like a bike or like if they got rides or something. I could try to wave down a car but I'm kind of enjoying this walk. We finally made it to Gianella camp. So let's see what it's all about. Pretty cheap. I got like 50 bucks for the night. So we just got checked in. Got quick water and a little croissant that I already ate that up. But look at this little camper. 50 bucks. I think it's like 65, like 55. Oh. Bro, am I tripping? Ah. Okay. Oh my God, what's happening? Ah. Oh my God, my camera. Nice little cozy bed in here. It's all you need. Uh. Pillows, blankets. Ah. You got a shower. Everything here. Oh 
Oh shit, you got a whole other bed in here. Two more twin size beds. Bro, you can have a bring a party in here. You got a fridge. Pretty good deal, you ask me. Alright. This place is pretty dope. Um, it's a lot cheaper than my hostel. I was out for two nights. And this is I was with four people. This single three bedroom, a bed, private bathroom, an AC in here. The hostel didn't have AC. I'm not really sure how to speed up on this. Okay, I think it, I don't know. I like it. Cheap, cool, and TV goes here, but I got one of those. We got our whole little like deck. Uh, but the sunrise is happening right now, so I do want to catch that up on my phone. Ugh. Let me see what time the sunset is. Yeah, so we're here right now. There's the, the main town over there. I'm not too sure what's going on. I do want to go across to the beach. I don't think too much is going on in the town. Um, like I said, it's a little like village. So I'm not expecting a nightlife over here. There is Porto Santo Stefano over here. That's the island that this out in the water that connects inland to Italy right here. And I guess it's like a very local small port that not a lot of people know about. It's pretty cheap. So maybe I'll go there tomorrow. Who knows? So I'm here for the night. Let's say just go to flow, see what happens. So I'm gonna go into my bathing suit right now. Um and then we're gonna go watch the sunset. I am speechless right now. Once I turn this camera around, you guys are gonna be in shock. Look at this. What? There is no way. What is going on? Bro, this is so much better than Rome. Rome's cool, but look at this. No, there's not even fish over here. No tourists. I keep it a secret. And that over there in that town, over there somewhere, that's where uh, the other Porto something. I am in shock right now. I kind of want to swim in there. Down. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. That sunset was beautiful. The water is so nice, so quiet. The weather's perfect. If you want to take that trip, take that trip. Not here though, gotta keep it quiet, gotta keep it a secret. I'm so glad I missed my train to Montepulciano or wherever. I'm, I'm, you know, I definitely want to go there one day, but hey, everything happens for a reason, right? Look at this. When do you ever see this? I don't see this on the US, especially not in New York City. Just no one's here. That's the crazy part. There's a guy fishing right there. Probably catching dinner. You're right. So we just made it back to the pamper or, or cabin or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so I went back to the, the main office and they said I can't rent a bike during the night. So I'm gonna stuck here. I think uh, I'm gonna take a shower first. Yeah, like a restaurant or something. Uh, actually, there's a restaurante pizzeria. Yeah, let me take a shower, charge everything, change. That was by far the best part of the trip so far. So honestly, that was just like bread. Um, and I'm glad I missed my train to Montepulciano. Whatever, and I chose this place because I would not have seen this ever. But I do definitely want to go check out Tuscany or whatever area. Um, I mean, this is considered Tuscany as well, but like the coastline. Alright, so we just came back from Dinar, Pasta del Ragu, and some type of chocolate cake thing. I'm not too sure. But um, it was alright. And then I got an apple spritz for the first time. Eh, not the biggest fan. Now it is currently 9.30. And it's gonna be a chill one today. Cause yesterday, the past two days been you know up super late doing going out, which is fun, but doing that back to back to back. Mm. So after dinner, I actually grabbed an Italian beer. Vera, Vera Moretti. Oh my god, I don't even know. And then there, 
version of potato chips. Man, I don't ever eat, have any of this stuff back home, but when in Rome, right? And then they actually bought a bottle for One thing I have noticed, Italian, or whenever I'm in Europe, or if it's just Italian beer, I actually enjoy the beer. I don't enjoy beer back home really, but it's pretty good. Or better than most beers. That's honestly gonna be a wrap for day three of this backpacking Italian Italy adventure. Probably just gonna set up the bed, watch some YouTube or something, I don't know. Gotta figure out we're doing tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go to Florence for tomorrow and Friday because I know the weekend scene in Florence is very popular. And I forgot what time they said checkout is, but it's probably about like 12 or something, so I'm not too worried. Figuring out, and that's something that is great about backpacking and just kind of going, planning your day, you know, on the go. You don't have to worry about getting to a place at a certain time. You can just book. But also, you don't have a place to stay, all this stuff, blah, blah. You know, pros and cons to this. I'm the type of person that I don't, I'm not someone who likes to book things in advance too long and have to worry about what time to be there. I just like to go. See what happens because why not live life on the edge? I'm gonna call it a night and I'll see you guys on day four. Sort of day four. Huh. But um, as always, stay the black sheep of society. Go left. Everyone else is going right and be different and never ever let anyone tell you otherwise and as always Get active. I'll see you guys tomorrow Peace